Megabytes. Hello and welcome back to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tool Review Series. In this video, we will be going over the dimensions such as metadata connectors and dimensions of connectivity with different set of tools such as orchestration tools, ETL ELT tools, data warehouses, data lakes, uh, connectivity with BI and other visualization tools. So let's dive in and take a look at these connectors and connectivity for sourcing the metadata in. Alation supports several distinct types of sources. Those sources are data source. It is nothing but connection to various relational database type of sources using JDBC connectors or JDBC drivers. There is also a way to connect to data sources for which out-of-box connectors are not provided by Alation using custom DB sources, which we'll talk in a moment. Alation also has a concept of virtual data source, a source that documents a database for which Alation does not offer a native connector or that cannot be accessed from Alation because of data policy restrictions or for any other reason. In this virtual data source, it is the responsibility of the source system to push the metadata into a data source to which Alation would connect and would import the data either via an API or a file. Alation can also connect to different file systems and source the documents or data stored on those file systems. The metadata of those file systems will be available in Alation for further querying and analysis. Alation's fourth data source type is BI Server, a source that documents BI servers, reports, and dashboards available to analysts in the organization. If nothing works, Alation also has an ability to push or upload the data directly using API resources. We can upload data dictionaries, we can upload sample data, we can also upload the lineage to Alation using various API resources. We will have a dedicated video to show an example of how to upload data glossary using API resources as a part of this series. Alation also has an open connector framework, which is nothing but a set of connectors that partners or vendors could build on their own. Alation provides trainings and workshops to build such connectors for its partners and customers. In short, with Alation, you can source data from data sources, which are nothing but relational data sources. You can source data using custom DB and via custom DB, the scope expands to non-relational and some new age databases as well. You can source data from the data sources which Alation cannot connect due to certain restrictions using a concept called as virtual data warehouse. You can source data of different files and their metadata by connecting to file systems. And you can source data from BI servers to get metadata around reports, dashboards available to that organization. As discussed earlier, Alation works with C data for driver and license distributions, since a large number of Alation custom DB connectors use C data drivers to connect to data sources and extract metadata. These C data drivers are licensed and you have to download and install as per the instructions provided on this particular page. Now, these drivers are currently available for an on-prem installation and the installation procedure for getting drivers on the SaaS versions is yet to be published. The key for having out-of-box connectors for various data sources or custom DB connectors is around the metadata extraction Metadata extraction allows metadata in Alation data sources to stay 
in sync with actual data found on these sources. Another benefit of having the out-of-box connectors and custom DB connectors is in query log ingestion. Query log ingestion is a data job that processes a selection of database queries to retrieve meaningful information about data objects extracted into Alation. Query log ingestion can provide us information such as popularity, top users, queries, it can help us calculate lineage and multiple other things. We'll be looking at query log ingestion and metadata extraction in detail in following videos. Here in the Excel sheet that you're seeing, we have compiled a quick list of Alesian data sources. If you look at the structured data sources, Alesian can connect to databases such as DB2, SQL Server, Google BigQuery, Greenplum, Hive, Impala, MemSQL, and so on and so forth. Alation can also connect to unstructured data sources such as Cassandra and MongoDB through custom data connectors. Alation can also source metadata information from Kafka, and other streaming data sources using custom data connection. Alation has an inbuilt or out of box connectors for data warehouses such as Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, Azure Synapse, and again, Google BigQuery and Hive data warehouses as well. As far as ETL and ELT tool goes, Alation currently supports Databricks metadata extraction and query log ingestion through its native connector. For file systems, Alation can connect to HDFS, Azure Blob, AWS S3, and Google File System using its out-of-the-box connectors. Orchestrators, Alation has a roadmap to connect to Airflow and Apache NiFi. On BI tools, or Alation currently connects to Tableau servers, Lucas, and business objects. Alation, also using custom data connectors provided by CData, can connect to other host of sources like AWS DynamoDB, Azure Cosmos DB, Databricks for custom DB, Dinodo, Elasticsearch, GitHub, MongoDB, Parquet AWS S3 files, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Splunk, and many such other sources. This list is compiled based on the Alation documents that have been scanned through and can be considered as a complete list as of date. In the following series of videos, we will see how these custom DB connectors or out of the box connectors help us capture metadata, help us with data sampling and also help us build data lineage and other such things helpful for analysts. So stay tuned. Thank you. Hashmap Megabytes.